by leaving chapter 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 1 verse 15 for perhaps he therefore depart for a season that thou shouldst receive him forever so perhaps Onesimus therefore depart for a season that Philemon shouldst receive Onesimus forever now the departure could be that his runaway slave was for the good after all he did get saved a man that left in full wrath of God and ended up in a child of God Onesimus a slave left there's a presumption that he old stole money so that's not recorded but the wrath of God upon this slave because he left and then now he's coming back a new creature coming back as a safe servant as a child of God he's no longer a man on the run Paul is directing him back to Philemon to report back of the testimony to make things right but for a season he says now it's proper for for Onassis to go back and get things right but Paul's like I, I don't want you to stay there but I can't force you I need permission from Philemon season in the 1828 dictionary number three a time of some continuance but not long when Onassis left he wanted no reason to return had no reason to return not wanting to go back not even his thoughts and who would who would actually have the, the ability that want of being a slave and having no control of your life that gets a freedom oh yeah I want to go back there I've been saved since 1987 I don't ever want to go back to Satan in his way I don't want to ever go back to the world and when I have troubles and problems in my life, I think, well, give up on God, and what do I have if I had to give up on God? What is there? Satan ain't going to treat me well. I don't know enough. I don't have enough resources like God to take care of myself. So there's nothing but God. But now, right with God, and a good, biblical, sound doctrine of Jesus Christ, what more sound can Onassis get? But he is with the person who has written the epistles to the churches. Now again, I'm not this Paul onlyism that only what Paul says. No, I'm all 66 books. But if you can sit and talk and question and get into discussions and find out of anybody, Onassis sat and was with, with Paul. That's better than any seminary. That's better than any Bible college. And Paul Onassis instructor is like, hey, I'm ready to send you out in the field we've already looked at. I'm ready to get you out there. But I gotta send you back to Philemon. So Onassimus is well trained in the Bible for Paul wanting to send him out. And he has the sound doctrine of Jesus Christ. From Paul Onassimus has changed and he's willing to do right again we're looking at I'm saved I'm under the blood of Jesus Christ I'm right okay yeah you're right in the eyes of God but what about those you have done harm to have you made things right by them Amazing what God can do with a willing heart after a man has received his son, the Savior, a new creature. And James says that faith without works is dead. I'm not talking about works of salvation, but if somebody professes to be, I receive Christ as my Savior. You give them two, five, ten years and they've never changed. They have not been the new creature. 
They're still their old ways, still doing their old things. You have scripture saying, listen, hey, I don't think you're saved. And people may not like that. Judge not least ye be judged. But the Bible says we're to judge things as Christians. Not people, but things. I'm to look at your life and say, hey. Now you look at Onassimus. The last person you would think that this man would be walking up to his body. Can you imagine? Now, I don't know how the layout is. But can you imagine the other servants when they see Onassimus walking up the driveway? Man, why is he here? Boy, he, 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 there's something wrong with him. But he's whistling and singing, praising God on the way up. So season is a word. Don't count on days or time. Just mark Onassis as absent being long. And then we got receive him forever. Now it doesn't mean that Onassis is to stay forever. When you and Onassis, Philemon, you and Onassis settle accounts, you settle that count forever. Don't hold it against him. Don't make him feel guilty. Forgive him. And don't carry a grudge. So, so now the slave owner and the slave are in the same family. I said the slave owner and the slave are in the same company. They are in the same family. They are washed in the blood of Jesus Christ and their father is God together. Forever will these two men will be settled in glory. Forever. The street of New Jerusalem. Forever. With the one that died for their sins. I think Paul could be trying to easy the temper. Ease the temper of Philemon. Yes, the old man. He's wicked and wrong. But the new man, he's coming back in righteousness, seeking God, seeking favor, seeking to right the wrong. That's another thing that's missing in Christianity today. True Christianity is not making right the wrong they have done. Families are broken because the church is broken because the Christians are broken. Look at what Joseph said to his brethren in Genesis 45, 7. Now Joseph's brethren mistreated him, mocked him, hated him. And at their opportunity, at one time, they were actually planning to kill their brother. They threw him in a pit with no water. And then Ishmaelites, merchantmen, come by. They drew him out, removed his coat, and sold him to the merchantmen, never to be seen again. That's what made his brothers happy. But with all that, Joseph, and God sent me before you to preserve you a posterity in the earth and to save your lives by the great deliverance. He didn't beat them with their mouth. He didn't beat them physically. Joseph was made ruler of all Egypt. Now he played a little mind games with them. But God has put me in this position that I may save you, my family, no matter how you treated me. And Onassimus has been put in this position that he may now improve and help his owner, Philemon. The fact is, okay, Onassimus is owned by Philemon. Whatever he decides to do with Onassimus, stay here in the field. Work with my servants. Work with my family. 
and you sat under bar. What a blessing, what a fruit that Philemon can get if Onassis were to stay in hell. Okay, no. Go do what Paul wants you to do. I am letting you loose. I am setting you free. Go to Paul and whatever Paul has for you. And that still gets credited to the Philemon by the fruits of what Onassis will do. Oh, Nazareth has become a blessing of a blessing of blessing upon Philemon and upon Paul by the saving grace of Jesus Christ. And so we ought to be. <coughs> if old Nazareth is chosen, I'm going to keep running. I'm not going to back. I'm not going to get right. I'm just going to keep going. There would have been no profit for anybody, even old Nazareth himself. We got to stop running away and start running to God. So maybe the runaway slave needed to get away. His freedom meant a freedom from sin. I guess every man saved has his own salvation story of a unique from another. That is what salvation is so personalized. That is God reaching out to a man by a special need and not by a robot fashion. Not everybody got saved at 773 Broad Street in Waterford, Connecticut. I did. I don't know how many people got saved kneeling down at a coffee table with a weird kind of centerpiece. I did. God has had me help part. And I have sat in a chair to chair with a man behind bars. And receive Christ as their Savior. I have been told by the sister of a man that was in prison under my under the ministry that God allowed me. That sitting down listening to the message, he got saved. I sat behind a table of a prison. And men got saved. I've sat behind a table at prison and men had, had said they were going to give up their perverted world modern Bibles. For the King James Bible. There's all kinds of, of, of stories of salvation. That is true. Altar, picnic table, church. Onassis was set before Paul while Paul was in jail. The new creature that he has become. I will go back and make things right. Now, if I leave them, your part of the letter is for, perhaps, therefore, depart for a season. That thou shouldst receive him forever. He's in the family of God, finally. Whatever he's done wrong with you. you Peter says, Lord, if, my, if, uh, if someone offends me. Seven times, and then Jesus said, no, 70 times seven. Forever, by leaving. Forgive and forget. <coughs> and if it was money stolen, whatever, uh, let's just say if it was, I, I don't know. I don't think, uh, I don't think Onassis is in the realm of his life to ever pay back anything. And Philemon might have to write it off. As I've told you many times, I, after I got saved, I witnessed to my dad the next day. And I sat down and wrote my dad a letter saying, Dad, listen, you and I both know I stole money from you. $20 at a time, many times. I wrote down a letter and said, Dad, listen, you name any I don't know how much. And my father's the type, he would probably most likely know how much. Kept good books. And he could have named the figure. And said, okay, you're Larry, you're a Christian. This is how much you owe me. Start paying. But he didn't. 
He got back to me. He says, Listen, I, I forgive you. You don't have to pay it back. Don't worry about it. Man, he only put that faith and trust in Jesus Christ so Jesus Christ can forgive him of his sins. Oh, the relief at that time that, you know what, I don't owe any money, but Lord, I'm sorry. But if my dad would name the amount, I would have to pay it. When an electric company sends their bill and you owe $100. There's only one way to make it right. You use their electricity, you pay for it. And Paul is writing this letter to Philemon and saying, listen, this is the cause, this is the reason, and oh, Nazareth has done right. Now I'm hoping you do right. And forever it's been settled. So if Philemon will tell Onassimus, wow, that's a wonderful story. Sit down and tell me about it. And anything that you've done wrong to me, Onassimus, and now Onassimus will be getting a little nervous. If Philemon say, you know what? Forget it. You and I are children of God. Maybe give him, hey, give me a hug. I, and I don't know. I, I, I'm assuming here, so throw it in the garbage can if it's wrong. I'd really like to have you stay here and help the servants and all that, or help the people, help me as a brother in Christ. But if you're going to be more profitable to Paul, but do you realize that moment if Philemon, when which he does, we. He, that moment he does say, hey, Onesimus, forget it. Not only has he been washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. Now the wrong that he has done to a human being has been made right by that human being. And now Onassis can do whatever Philemon chooses, whatever Paul chooses. He can go out there with a pure conscience saying, I've got it right by God. And I got it right by man. And anybody would say, oh, Onassis, look what you've done. Hey, listen, it's under the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, what about, oh, Philemon? He forgave me for that. And we're, we're, we're in good fellowship and we're brothers in the Lord and doing right. Jesus said, if you've got aught with, a, with another brother, go to him, tell him between you and him. That's what finally, that's what Onassis is going to do. And if he's forgiven you and if you've settled it and you got it down, you gain a brother. Onassis will gain a brother. The slave owner will be moved away, gone, disappeared. And in comes brothers in the Lord Jesus Christ. Children of God by the Holy Spirit. What a remarkable thing. What a remarkable study of one chapter, this book in the Bible. So much Calvary, so much God, so much forgiving, so much new creature. And what we ought to be doing. So about you? Is there anybody that, that you've done wrong? It's under the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. God will not, will not bring it up. God's able to forgive and forget. But have you done something wrong? You got a telephone, you gotta write, visit face to face. I've done this several no, I was gonna say several, a few times. But what what number is a few? I'm thinking about three or four right now, maybe more, I don't know. I got one guy still mad at me. I done what the Bible told me to do. I'm getting off and, and serving the Lord. Just happy in the Lord. That's what Onassis is going to be. That's what Philemon is going to be. That's what the record's straight about the Bible. 